Ethereum broke a crucial support level. If that sounds interesting, you make sure to continue watching this video. We are nearing 900 Telegram members and if you haven't joined yet and are interested in staying up with my charts as well as some trades, make sure to check out the link in the bio. We have been absolutely- Hey guys, Charts here. Welcome back to another Ethereum analysis video. As always, if you do enjoy my content, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. If you guys are interested in $35,000 trading bonus, make sure to check out the link in the bio. Now, as you guys can see on Ethereum, we ended up breaking below a very key support level here at 1911. Of course, I didn't end up uploading a video on the weekend for those of you that were a part of Telegram channel you guys already knew the fact that because of sideways action there really wasn't much to update in terms of a bullish case scenario we would first have to break above 1936 and use that level as support but you can see instead we ended up using that level as resistance which was a very clean indicator to know whether or not we will be continuing to put towards the downside and that's exactly where we ended up falling you can see that as soon as we retest these exponential moving averages we saw a very strong bearish engulfing candle of course this doesn't look like a bullish price action to me right now it does look like a much larger bar formation that is luckily looking out to play for those of you that are part of telegram you guys already know that bitcoin as well has a massive bar formation that's looking to play out so be very careful as you guys are trading the main deciding factor to know how this bar formation is going to play of course is if we do end up breaking below 1839 that's going to be the confirmation signal you want to see for that shorting position and then we will see ethereum at least go down to the 1715 range grab some liquidity at that level in a quick wick and then possibly either continue pushing towards the upside or finally start its massive move towards the downside the reason for this of course is i mentioned to you guys that it's going to be very key for ethereum to try to break above two thousand dollar range if we can somehow break above that range then there really isn't much resistance in order for us to see from here you can see once we break 21 22 which is only the midterm resistance level that was created after that it's pretty much a smooth sailing towards the 2300 dollar ethereum but that's going to be the main level that we have to pay attention to. If Ethereum, of course, does end up breaking below 1839, then this bar formation is a lot more likely. Even here on the weekly time frame, you can see we are struggling to hold above our exponential moving averages. Of course, if this does end up reversing on our EMA lines on the daily time frame, that usually is a much larger signal to look for that shorting position. So for those of you that are a little bit more conservative, you can kind of pay attention to the 1884 support. If that level does flip into resistance, then that's a confirmation for the short that you want to see of course if we do end up just consolidating at this range then you can trade accordingly i want to talk about the lower time frames because this is pretty interesting to me you can see on the lower time frame over the weekend we struggled to break above 1936 and i mentioned to you guys that we may just end up consolidating in this range but if we do end up breaking below this range then this of course is a much likely bearish case scenario right now we are in extreme oversold conditions we are seeing multiple wick opportunities down here at the 1900 range if we do end up retesting 1884 i would pay heavy heavy attention to seeing how this level reacts of course if we see some volume or even news come out and we do see a bearish case scenario play out then that's going to be a very nice shorting opportunity but if we do end up just hitting 1884 and bouncing off that level make sure you guys look to trade some close some trades because if we do end up bouncing then this could easily just be from the weekend manipulation a small move towards the upside and then continuation but that's pretty much all i have for you guys today as always if you do enjoy my content make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you guys are interested in 35,000 trading bonus make sure to check out the link in the bio and hope you guys have it.